thing I'm trying to get to is what what stops us like because we talk oh well now I grew up and then I realized and stuff like that is it is it because the world is it because we go oh well we've got to be a bit more realistic and then the world sort of puts these things and we then sort of give in to things and don't do it or or is it that we then realize like you said uh, Ryan was a really good point I want to become a professional footballer but then we realize actually the effort it takes to become you know the dedication and the practice that it becomes to, to become a professional footballer or in fact a professional wrestler is that what makes us not pursue that dream because there there are professional footballers there are professional wrestlers what i want to get to is why do we not pursue the thing is it because we lose interest in it is it because we think oh we should shouldn't aim so high is it because we listen to people around us going oh well you, you know you, you, you dream a little bit you're never going to become a pressure you never do we listen to that Rather so, than following the thing. Oh, sorry, on, okay. No, I'm gonna. I will, and I get. I love the message of this because ultimately, there's a message on the end of this about pushing and following your dreams and stuff like that. I presume, but I'm gonna find it hard to say why I gave up on my dreams to an extent because I did pursue them. Um, like t- so, talk to talk to talk to a little bit about that. Pursue it. And, and let's yeah, just yeah. Recap so. That. Um, and I've got a, I've got an additional story end of this with someone else as well. So I, whenever I was in my early 20s, probably a little bit before that, I was, you know, I was a big, I went through phase of fan where I am or not, but I am, I'm a fan on wrestling and I decided I wanted to give it a go. Now at the time I weighed, I'm going to say no more than eight stone, maybe nine at a push. I was, I mean, you remember me, Hastings direct days, Joe. I was skinny as anything um and I'd never really been into sports and stuff like that but I decided I want to do it and I had a mate at the time who was a bodybuilder he was really into it like he was I just did the big arms out thing for those who aren't watching on YouTube um so I started to go to the gym with him with the aim of bulking up to get some strength and to get athleticism and cardio and whatever else and I spent a couple of years where I would go really hard on going to the gym, like really hard. And I put on a good couple of stone. I got my cardio and to a really good place, I would say, that I had a fantastic gym routine and got to the stage where I felt, right, I'm going to give this a go. And I found a school that it was out. I mean, it's you'll know where it is. It was in Portsmouth. So and for reference to those who don't know where I live compared to that, that's a good three hours drive away, a couple of hours on the train. And I'm like, right, I'm <laughs> going to go for this. So I went down on a weekend, started going to classes, did a couple of weekend or weekend courses, which there was a real um, paying your dues mentality back in that day in what you call the business. So it was literally, you know, the gym was in a warehouse on a light industrial estate where literally there was like one toilet and one sink and two wrestling rings and loads of gym equipment and spent a weekend there that would involve going to Asda to buy some food, sneaking some McDonald's to use a loo because the one at the actual place was gross, sleeping in the ring in the sleeping bag that I bought of myself. It was quite full on doing it. And like we do cardio drills and stuff and things where you'd hang upside down on the corner and do crunches. And I got a lot of compliments from people on my fitness and stuff. So I think I'd got there with it. But it was, I'd say, it was quite far away. It was three or four hours away. I could really only do the weekends. I couldn't do in the week because of working. And it reached a crunch point where I'd almost have to give up on working or, you know, do part-time work to be able to pursue in it. And actually, at that point, I took the choice that I'd given it a go. I was happy I'd found out some stuff. But chances of success in that against the career that I was starting to do stuff in. And that was the point I, I, I gave up, so to speak, about having pursued it for a while and then i'd say that mentality has carried on obviously we do this because of an idea i suggested to you joe you know some of the other stuff i do not everything works out in fact far more doesn't work out than does work out but i do think if i want to do something i will give it a go and i suppose there's that decision uh, that you said oh because you you realize that you'd have to give up something and that's why i say i do and i don't give up on it because i didn't just not go into it at all like it was a fancy i'd never look into but i did reach a crunch point where i stopped going down that path so is it the curiosity of being satisfied to say actually um i think was there a thought to say 
I'm not prepared to dedicate the time and give up this to become that. I think that's it. I think if you were going to do it, than... you'd have to be 100% yeah. in. And well, and you know what I'm like. I refer, I'm a buffet person, so I struggle with going 100% in <laughs> on anything, as in this is going to be my life and what I do. And I just don't think that, you know, yeah, I don't, given some of the other stuff that's going on, it just didn't feel like the best option for me at the time. So looking back now, is there any regret that you didn't pursue it? No. Now, there are a, two or three people that went to that same school I did that made it. That are, I mean, one of them headlined a show in Cardiff last week in front of 70,000 people. Wow. So, you know, that was of lots of people that went there. And there's other degrees of moderate success from people that, that went to it. But actually, at the, so you know what you think? You always think you're the most advanced time. Medical science wasn't where it was. And the injuries that people have now got that started training the time i was there because of things we now know that we didn't know then the chances you know that i think the impact it would have had on me against even if i'd been massively successful i think I, I don't regret it that i didn't pursue it because i think i don't think it would have ultimately been the lifestyle for me i think i scratched enough curiosity to understand it yeah i don't i don't regret that i didn't pursue it 